Hi and welcome. My name is Eric Andre and today I'm going to show you how to connect Microsoft Excel to Google BigQuery using the CData ODBC driver. In this shorter version of the video I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with setting up a Google BigQuery project. The data for this tutorial will come from a project I've already created on Google BigQuery called Project 1 and it contains a data set called DS1 and a single table called T1. The table is populated from the Shakespeare sample data Google provides using the following query. Google BigQuery uses the OAuth authentication standard, so we are going to need to set that up. Go to the developer's console for your project, project one in my case, and then click on the credentials in the API and auth section. Click on Add Credentials and then OAuth Client. Select the application type, I'll just choose Other, and then give it a name. Hit Create. And now make note of your new OAuth Client ID and secret. You can always come back and retrieve it if you lose it. Now that we have some data, the next thing we need to do is install the driver. So let's navigate to cdata.com where we can download a free trial version. There's a couple of ways to navigate the website. I'm going to do so by technology. Select ODBC. And then I'm going to group by category to make my search a little easier. Work our way down. And then click on Google BigQuery. Now you'll see the red free trial button on the top right. Click on that and then click on download your trial. All you need is a valid email address and then click download. And then we're ready to install. I'm going to choose all the defaults including location. By default, once you click finish, the Windows ODBC data source administrator will launch and you can configure your data source. You can change the name of the source if you want. There are a lot of properties you can set here, but for this demo, we only need five of them. Your project ID is not the same as the project name you gave it, so you'll want to go back to the Google Developer Console to get it. Enter your dataset ID and your table name, and then scroll down to the OAuth section And now enter the OAuth client ID and secret that you created for your application in the Google Developer Console. Once you're done entering the property values, click on Test Connection and the driver will launch the Google OAuth endpoint in your default browser. Make sure you're logged into Google and then grant permissions to your application. You should then be returned to an authentication successful page and you're ready to use your driver. Now that we have our ODBC DSN all set up, we can use it to access Google BigQuery data from all sorts of applications for BI, reporting, and ETL, including Microsoft Excel. We'll start by creating a new workbook, clicking on the Data tab, and then on Get External Data, from other sources, we'll choose the connection wizard, click on ODBC DSN, and then you'll see our DSN listed. We'll select our table and then save our data connection. We'll click OK to import our BigQuery data, and there you have it, our data is ready to use. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on using the CData Google BigQuery driver. Please go to cdata.com and check out some of our other 50 plus drivers. And thank you for watching.